let's try this again. Dog's acting up in the last one. Uh, so, anyways, um, we did this video earlier, and uh, I think we missed a few things, so I was like, we should probably redo this. Um, anyways, so I want to talk about um, little age play and a BDL. I figured we just put it on one, and since he knows my quirks and kind of understands little as well, I figured Master could join me. Um, if you've already watched the previous videos, you already know this is my Master Gonzo, and you should already know who I am. <laughs> I would hope you are on my YouTube. Uh, anyways, so um, I get asked all the time what my little age is, and not every little has a little age. Um, I portray whatever age I feel like being at that time. So if I feel like being a kid that wears underwear instead of diapers, and I'm being a little kid that wears uh, underwear instead of diapers. You don't always have to wear diapers. You don't have to use your diapers. Um, I don't use mine. I hate when people tell me you have to use them. You don't have to use them. Um, you can wear makeup when you're being a little. I don't care if people sit there and go, children don't wear makeup. It's really whatever makes you comfortable to be in yeah. that mindset. Because as you've just said, you don't have a little age on. Um, <laughs> From the moment I've met you, you've always had the little quirks where you'll start talking like a child. Yeah. Or just how you sound and how you act. You yeah. don't, you're not childish, it's just you have, you kind of switch into this little behavior. Yeah. Which I can't help. I've had that my whole life. I even do it with my mom, and half the time I don't even notice that I'm doing it with my mom. It just happens, and mom just goes along with it like it's normal, because I guess I obviously do it normally and don't even realize it half the time. Sometimes I do and I go, oh hey, I just kind of said like a little kid. Other times I'll say something and then I just don't even notice and we move on. Um, but uh, yeah, so when you're a little, and I know like I've seen some people saying that the tattoos take them out of little space. My tattoos don't bother me. Um, I paid for this, this is what I wanted. I've wanted it for years, so it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, if you, if Tattoos would take you out of little space, then they'd also take you out of uh, kitten space yeah. and all that. Yeah, like I don't, I don't understand why some people say that, but meh, that's to each their own. But my tattoos don't bother me, so. I forget they're there half the time, to be honest with you. I'll look down and go, oh hey look, I have a sleep. Alrighty then. <laughs> but um, yeah, so being a little is pretty much just acting like a child. You have childlike tendencies, and you just act like a child. Um, where age play is you can act any age. A child to, I don't know if you're into it, an 80 year old woman. Um, <laughs> whatever age you want to be, you are that age during that particular scene or event or, excuse me, or whatever you're doing. Excuse me again. And then when as soon as it's over, you're back to your normal self. Where being a little is kind of a little different. You kind of always have those tendencies. It's always there. Mm -hmm. You always have that childlike wonder. It just doesn't leave. Um, ABDL was what I was talking about earlier. Was um, adult baby diaper lovers. Um, so you've seen in some of my uh, photos of me wearing my pull-ups or a diaper and stuff like that. And it just kind of helps me get in a little space more, depending on, like I said, what age I felt like that day. Um, but I do not use them, and you don't have to use them. I'm repeating this because I'm getting tired of people saying you have to use them to be a little and be an ABDL and all that stuff. There's no rule for that. Um, I physically cannot use them. Um, ever since I was potty trained, this is going to be a stupid story, but I kind of want to say it just so you guys understand why I'm saying I physically can't use them. Um, my parents and I were on a trip, and I was in pull-ups, and I was a little kid, and we were stuck in traffic. I can't remember where we were going, but I just remember asking for a bathroom. And both of my parents, whatever we were doing, dad looked in the mirror, mom looked behind, the, or turned around behind her and goes, you can use your pull-ups. And I demanded not to use my pull-ups. I'm like, I am not peeing my pull-up, find me a potty. So I physically cannot use diapers or pull-ups. I, I just can't. You can't even go outside. <laughs> I can't go outside. I can't pee in well, a bottle. Well, we were on our way to Memphis <laughs> one year. There was this horrible car accident. And we basically were parked on the highway because no one could move for about two hours. Yeah. 
and she literally began panicking because she's like, I need to go to the bathroom. I, I need to go. I'm like, you're going to have to find a secluded spot. She's like, no, 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 I, I need a bathroom. We even tried a bottle. I just, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Thankfully, there was an RV di <laughs> parked directly behind us, and I asked them, and they were very polite and said, yes, you may use our restroom. Yeah, it was kind of awkward, but yeah, I just, I physically cannot do it. So don't feel pressured if you physically cannot use your diapers. Some people want to, and that's cool. That's their fetish, that's their thing. I don't judge it, but I just, I physically can't. Um, I know some people, I know age play and little play can kind of go hand in hand. Um, you can kind of put both of them together. You can be a little and then pick an age. Um, or you can be like a little and be an age of whatever you're comfortable with. But um, I sometimes, we sometimes, I sometimes do age play, sometimes, but I'm mostly just a little and just whatever age I feel like being. As I was saying, our relationship, it, I'm okay with age play, yeah. I, I, I can do it, but the problem is I suck at this whole <laughs> imaginary role play scenario. I, I am me. I can't snap into another person, so I can't well, play along with her that well. No. He's, he's done pretty good yeah. with the whole... So I can't be the daddy to your yeah. little girl. Which I, I is alright with me. We don't have to make it yeah. sexual. I'm not yeah. even worried about that part. Yeah, when she does her age play, she's literally just in the bedroom watching uh, Care your Bears, My, My Little, Little Ponies, Ponies and Care Bear cartoons. Something. Something the, the, that's little kiddish. The things that I would go freaking insane yeah. if I had you to watch. You can't watch them. So. Oh, and she plays with the little things. I take away her cell phone and her computer and all that because little girls shouldn't have that stuff. Of course. You let me so. take one picture and then that's it. Yeah, she, she's allowed to take one picture and then it's done. So that's that's her little space. It doesn't actually have to be a sexual fetish. Yeah, not which, all fetishes have to be sexual. I was about to say, didn't you get like uh, saw someone yelling that little play is the yeah, age play is just objectifying a, children? Well, that and like you, I constantly see people complaining online saying BDSM is sexual, and constantly people are going it doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to be sexual. You can just enjoy the. Um, sessions, however, what do you want to call it? Whatever they the are. The dynamic. You yeah. can enjoy the, like, when I'm in the bedroom and he's leaving me alone, I do holler at him. I either holler master or daddy, whatever mood I'm in, or whatever I feel like calling him to bring me food or a drink, because, again, that's someone taking care of me. That's what being a little is, mm -hmm. is switching. He's being the dominant figure and I'm being... And also, being... most of the time when she's in the bedroom, as you can see, she's wearing a knee brace. Yeah. She has knee problems, so most of the time she's in the bedroom, she is laid up anyway. She has trouble moving, so that's when I do help. If she's out here, she gets her own stuff, but yeah. when she's in there, that means I need to be alone because my leg is hurting. Because I can't, I can't stay laying down for very long, so yeah. that's why and we're never in the same room a lot of times. As you can times. see, this couch is not big enough for me to lay down while he works on his projects. Mm -hmm. Projects. <laughs> I'm like, let's try. Of course, the only projects. thing you reach for is actually your stuff. I know, but I'm just saying projects. Actually, think. No, wait. There's a couple things on there that are mine. That's yours. No, that's yours. That's it's the mine? Egyptian dragon. Oh, I didn't even recognize it. I was about to say the only thing on there that's mine is the two harlequins and oh. the contemptor dreadnought. Okay. But Everything over here is yeah. Mine. We usually he's usually working on Warhammer, um, soda pop miniatures, uh, relic knight. That's what that was. My base is. Or like night, his base is making his own molds and stuff like that. So, but I do spend time with him out here. Don't think that I'm always mm -hmm. with my knee in there. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. She this. She is the submissive. She does whatever I tell her. But when she's in the bedroom, I want her relaxing because I don't want her pushing her knee or she needs to. Uh, you don't do meditation like I do. You need something else that yeah. helps you clear, and that's that's where your uh, age play comes in. Is yeah. that stuff that that really calms you down and centers you? It does, yeah. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that. I, though I'd like to say that I do meditate, so kneeling quietly 
and not thinking about anything is probably. In, That's probably I, what I will, doing. Well, what I'll admit, it's probably just as weird as a grown woman pretending to be a True. little girl. True. Yeah, and B B S M. D D L G is not sexualizing children. I, I get comments. I see girls complaining about that. We're not sexualizing children. If you see that, then I'm sorry, but that means you're sexualizing a child. I don't see a child. You're the one looking at I'm the lowly porn. <laughs> I don't see a child when I'm actually like that. I see an adult pretending to be a child. It's just a mindset. Just like you play dress up and play pretend. That's pretty much what DDLG mm. is. Or being a little. If you, <laughs> uh, I have a problem with the people who say uh, age play and little play and all that is objectifying children. Because yeah. they don't seem to be complaining when they see pet play. Yeah. When it, if little play and age play is objectifying children, wouldn't kitten play and dog puppy play be objectifying animals? Yeah, right. It, it's a double standard. It's yeah. just, the, you're still seeing a person when they're on their hands and knees meowing or barking. Or yeah. If you're into pony play or pig play, there are mostly guys are into we do pig play. play. Yeah, but you're not seeing an animal, you're seeing yeah, a person human. act like an animal. Yeah. When I see her being a little, or, well, when she's talking, that's when she's being a little, but when she's doing age play, it's just her as a little girl. I don't see anything else. There's uh, that, it, a lot of double standards and yeah. uh, BDSM and fetish stuff. It is part of, of BDSM, BDSM regardless. Yeah, I think that's the other thing people are forgetting. Um, just like someone keeps saying, Kitten play and DDLG is the cancer of the BDSM community. That's always been there, honey. Or whoever the hell you are. That has always been part of the community. It's just not mainstream. That's the only difference. I've heard about people wetting diapers since we first started BDSM. I've heard about it long, long time. Like, uh, well, you introduced it to me seven years yeah. ago. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that's always been there. Same. So is kitten play and pony play and whatever. I've known about pony um, play a long say, time. Kitten and... I was going to say, mostly pony play was what everyone did. Now kitten plays become a thing. Mm -hmm. but, but there's fox play and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But yeah, it's been around for a long time. And it the one thing about um, most people don't understand it with sexual things, it's yeah. sometimes it's an emotionally sexual thing. I yeah. know that sounds weird. It but does sound weird. Yeah, um, them, but, but me, it's no. not, oh my god, I'm so horny right now. It's uh, the satisfaction yeah, from it. Yeah, like, that's what I, that, again, that's what I hate when people say BDSM has to be sexual. It does not. Him and I can have a masochist and sadist scene, because I'm a masochist. I love pain. It helps relax me so much, and we don't have to have sex. I mean, yeah, it's a turn-on for both of us. But we don't have to have sex. It doesn't have to end that we've way. We've done until we've spent like an hour in a session. No sex afterwards. No yeah. blowjobs. No nothing. It was just you taking everything I could give you. Yeah, like so. Again, it doesn't have to be sexual. I, it drives me nuts when people say it has to be sexual. Please do your research before you start blabbing off to people <laughs> and going. It has to be this way. It doesn't have to be that way. I actually talked to a friend of ours that has been in the lifestyle for, what, 20 years, I think? I think he's only a couple, I think he's only like a decade older than me, so yeah. Yeah. So I ask him questions and there's no set rules for BDSM whatsoever. So to those people that keep saying, well this has to be this way, this has to be that way, don't listen to them. It doesn't have to be that way. You notice that most of our videos end like that? Yeah. It, 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 it is. Wait, we say we have to be that way, or we? No, 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 no. It it, it, oh. <laughs> it always becomes. It doesn't have to be that. But it's way. the truth because people just keep telling other people you have to do this, you have to pee in your diaper, you have to have a little age. It's just like, where are you getting these and have to? Like I don't understand because you've never told me it has to be that way. No, because it's personal <laughs> preference on both sides of the table here. Like, same thing when, like, when I cut out the contract, like, we didn't mean you have to have a contract, we were just meaning it was a good idea. Yeah, it, it's, us. it's a very good idea for uh, that. People attacked us saying, oh, you're saying you have to. No, no, we weren't saying you have to. 
we saying we have one because we th we both feel it's a good idea. Yeah. We'll do another video about contracts again since I had to splice that one. I might delete it since we're redoing them. But um, since we just spliced that one video, I spliced it because I got tired of people saying, Oh, you're saying you have to have a contract. No, we weren't saying you have to. Um, but, yeah. I'm pretty sure people enjoy rambling. <laughs> yeah, rambling's realistic as far as I'm concerned. We keep starting off subject, but yeah, don't don't feel like you have to have a little age. You don't, and you have to use diapers, and you have to not wear makeup when you're being a little. And it's just it's really stupid when people are like, "Oh, you're being a child. Well, you can't do this. No, you're not actually being a real child. You're being a you're pretend child." child. It's just like playing dress up as a kid. I don't know how many girls didn't want to wear makeup when they dressed up as Cinderella or Snow White or something. Like, everyone used to have, I had the play makeup that wasn't real. Like, it was just pretend, literally. Like, they were hard cubes of lipstick and makeup and you just pretended to put it on and play dress up. So again, I don't know how many little girls pretended to have makeup on when they were being, <laughs> you know, being princesses. Most of those princesses, I don't think, had makeup on in those movies. But. Again, it's just playing pretend, so don't feel like you have to do something. And don't listen to, since this just popped in my head, with the one girl we met a long time ago. Oh yeah. Don't read into fetishes as if they're some kind of psychedelic head trip you're putting yourself into. Yeah, that too. Yeah, when you were talking about the diaper, she is very adamant in saying that you just like peeing on yourself. That's why you enjoy diaper play and little play and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, um, I don't yeah. actually think so. And I wanted to bring this up. This might make some people mad. But just because you like being spanked or choked or other things does not mean it is part of BDSM. You're not really having a dynamic there. You just enjoy those things. You have fetishes and kinks. Yeah. Um, if you, that's if other you things break, that people get confused. If about. you break BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominant, submissive, sadist, masochist. There, if you look into that, there's always a dynamic as yeah. part of it. Like there not, is someone tying you up, and there is someone being tied up. Yeah. Like I'm not saying that to be rude, but I just know some people go, "Oh, I'm in a BDSM when." Really, they just like you have fetishes. certain things, yeah. Just because you like breath play doesn't make you a submissive. It just means you like breath play. Yeah. So my friend has my friend a while while back asked me about that because he had been with someone who was into breath play. He didn't know what it was even called. He's like, they just like me choking them. I'm like, well, that's called breath play. And he's like, well, does that make them like a submissive? I'm like. Did they act submissive during sex or in their real life? He's like, no. I'm like, well, then it just means they like being joked. It's just that. Yeah. It's no, it doesn't have to ha involve a fantasy of being choked. It doesn't have to be a submissive or even a masochist. Just to some mas not, not all masochists even like being choked, or submissives no. like being choked. But, yeah, it's... It, a kink doesn't necessarily mean you're into BDSM, it just means yeah. you're kinky, and that's okay. You're not vanilla. Yeah. That's it. I just thought I'd bring that up, because I know some people are starting to get it confused now. Because they think that, just like that one guy thought all toys were BDSM toys. No. Yeah, someone was like, oh, so a dildo is a BDSM toy. I'm like, no, it's a sex toy. You can use it in BDSM, but just because you use it doesn't mean you're into BDSM. Especially since mo uh, I, I do not like the term BDSM toys. No. It's BDSM gear. Yeah. Because toys would be playing. The, the stuff can be dangerous. The pinwheels yeah. are very sharp. We have pinwheels. Too. Yeah. Uh, lightly pushing on her skin will leave marks. But, I mean, if I really, really, dig in and really push, <laughs> I could break skin and yeah. she will bleed. Yep. Plus... Handcuffs are not toys. No. You could, if you position them wrong or too do tight, do them too tightly. Restraint cut could cut off circulations. Yep. That's why when you do role play, always tell someone if your hand goes numb. 
I've been tied up three times my whole time of being a model. Mm -hmm. For your beating assumptions. Yeah, two, well, two of them were for the modeling. One was for swinging suspension at the fetish club. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, oh yeah, I saw another something about that. At fetish clubs, there can be cute cat and girls, by the way. Um, we used to go to a fetish club, and I used to just always cute kid one time. Just throwing that out there. One time was like, oh, well, not, girls don't always go cute to the fetish club. But, um. Fetish can be cute, though. Yeah. That's why they make pink restraints. Exactly. I mean. You're wearing a bright pink collar right now. Yeah. That locks. Like, yeah, people are showing it cute online, and it's not always cute, but there is hard sides to it. You just have to be careful. But, um, always sell it. Say it's bleh. Cause I get tongue tied. Always tell someone if something goes numb. I've had that happen quite a few times. Being tied up for the rope suspension, being tied up for another rope suspension photo shoot, and being tied up for a uh, rope bondage photo shoot. Um, so always make sure you say something when someone's tying you up. I just thought I'd bring that because I don't remember saying anything about that in the last couple of videos we've done. No, you yeah. haven't. But I'm like, it's always a good idea to go, my hand's going numb. And after that, you've I got... I got a tingly. Yeah. After that, you've got... Once they move it, sometimes you have a few more minutes before you have to completely either redo it or untie. Mm -hmm. Well, untie and redo, or just completely untie and stop. It's totally up to you. Yeah. Like, even our, pl our play sessions, I remember one time I used the spreader bar as a way of... Uh, yeah. As a up. way of restraining her movements even more by putting it long ways across her back. I was about to say all the way. I still don't know what the, the hell's going, going on down. with one of those light bulbs. I don't know. The sun's going down. I'm like, I'm getting kind of dark over here. <laughs> I'm a shadow. But, um, it was fun for her, but I planned on leaving her like that for a good amount of time. Not for sex or anything, just to leave her like that. And as she realized she was going to be left like that, she did signal me and say, and just, I took out the ball gag, of course, and yeah. just asked what was wrong, and she's like, I can't stay with the bar in my back. She could only do it for a certain amount of time. If I had left her like that, as some people think doms are like, could have really messed up her back. Yeah. But that's just how it works. You have to listen, and when either dom or sub gets uncomfortable, they have to end it. Yeah, I know we talked about hand signs and all that already. But mm -hmm. Always make sure you use your safe word. I can't, I can't bring that up enough after what happened. My friend. Always use safe words, hand signs, please. <laughs> if you don't know what happened to her friend, I know you've mentioned it before, I have. but not. Uh, she was doing breath play with her dom. She said it was her dom. It was probably we don't know if it was know. an actual colored her. Dom, as in she's collared, or just a friend that dominated her, but he choked her so hard it blew blood all of face. the blood vessels in her face, and just her face looked like she had been beaten. Yeah. And she was proud of that, mm. even though that we our That's response was thing. you could have just damaged your face. Yeah. Like same things with the littles. If you are making your little play, that was me. Yeah, no, I'm just joking. Making your little play sexual, make sure, you know, everything is safe. Same thing with age play and whatever else. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is safe. Um, that's always the key thing. That's why we talked about having a contract for us, because if something goes wrong, it's always nice to have it. Um, that's pretty much what we said in the some of us. Yeah, it's as if something happens to her and I have to take her to the hospital. Yeah. They're gonna report it to the cops. Well, they don't be, because that's he's just gonna procedure. Go to jail for abuse. Well, I'm then gonna be questioned <laughs> until I can actually show them. No, it was a session that went bad, and I yeah. quickly handled the situation. But that's why in the other video you said we said you should always have a contract for that, and then that's when someone snapped at us and was like, "No, oh, you don't have to have a contract." If you want to do really hardcore, it might be a good idea. Yeah, I, I was about to say, we are, <laughs> uh, pretty, we're pretty hardcore in but a lot of aspects. But we'll explain contracts in the next one, but I just figured I'd bring that up right now, just to lay it out there. So I'm not saying you have to have one, I'm just saying it'd be a good idea to have one. For safety. Yeah, for safety. But um, I think we've rambled on enough. Um, but 
So, uh, play safe. I'm always going to say this when we end the videos. Play safe. Use your safe words. Be smart. Don't listen to everybody online. Not everything you read online is correct. Um, yeah, I know I'm saying that a lot making a video. But I try to be correct. I try to help. At least help. If I'm not correct, at least help put you in the general direction of what you should be doing or where you should be going. Um, I think I've said it before, FetLife.com is a pretty good place to meet some people that know what they're talking about, some people might not. Um, if you're old enough to get on there, then we just need to do another thing about age restrictions too. Anyways, we'll do that in another video. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I love you guys. Bye. Yeah, I'm like...